Did you know you can use multi-camera video switchers right inside a Riverside studio? Maybe you want to use a video switcher because you have multiple in-person guests and you want to switch between those cameras. Or you're going to use Riverside to live stream on YouTube or Twitch and you want to create engaging content with multiple camera angles. Well, we're going to show you how you can use a video switcher inside a Riverside studio, make some hardware recommendations, and best practices when using a video switcher inside Riverside. We'll compare all the models in a moment, but the Blackmagic A10 Mini lineup of video switchers can actually be used as a webcam, and that's how it's seen by the Riverside Studio. As you can see here, Blackmagic Design is chosen as my webcam, which is actually the video switcher. And you can have from four all the way up to eight different cameras depending on which model you buy, and you can switch between all those cameras live in the Riverside Studio. For example, let's say I'm live streaming to YouTube and I want my audience to see me as I'm talking, but I'm also going to show off a product, and so I want to switch to that camera while I'm live streaming right here in Riverside. Because I have a second overhead camera connected to my A10 Mini Pro, I can actually just switch to camera two on my A10 Mini Pro, and now my audience, anyone tuning in live, is seeing my overhead shot, and this is being recorded in Riverside. Now keep in mind, when using a video switcher as your camera in the Riverside Studio, Riverside can only record the video it's getting and the video you're seeing right here in the interface. So as you switch cameras, whatever video is being shown here in the studio is what's being recorded to your Riverside video and audio track. Now the Blackmagic A10 Mini lineup of video switchers has several different models. The base model, you can connect up to four cameras and it has a USB-C port where you can connect that to your computer and Riverside will see it as a webcam. If you upgrade to the Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro model, you still only have four cameras and one USB-C port, but then it also has an ethernet jack. That's because the Pro models can be used to live stream and record the video that's being sent from the switcher. Now you can also live stream to YouTube, Twitch, or any RTMP server right from inside Riverside. So you don't necessarily need that live streaming feature built into the switcher. Now if you want to add up to eight cameras and have a second USB-C port on your switcher, you can go with the A10 Mini Extreme model. Again, you get up to eight cameras and those two USB-C ports, one can be used to connect to your computer so your computer sees it as a webcam. And that second USB-C port can actually be used to connect to an external drive so your video can be recorded locally there as well. Blackmagic also sells an ISO model of their Mini Pro and Extreme switchers. The ISO model actually has the ability to record all of the camera inputs separately in addition to your live feed or program feed. So if you actually want to access everything every camera sees after you're done recording and cut and edit it later, you might want to consider the ISO, ISO models. We'll put links in the video description to all the different models we mentioned. Now a few considerations when using a Blackmagic A10 Mini switcher inside Riverside. The A10 Mini switchers have a max resolution for their webcam feature of 1080p. So even if you're using a 4K camera or mirrorless camera, it will only have 1080p resolution going into Riverside using the switcher. If you want to record full 4K video inside the Riverside Studio, then you'll need a standalone capture card that's capable of 4K resolution. We'll put links to a few options in the video description. Another consideration is that the Blackmagic A10 video switchers actually have audio inputs. On the Mini Pro, there's actually a mic 1 and 2 8th inch headphone jack where you can input audio directly to the switcher. We have an entire video talking about hybrid in-person and remote guest interviews, and we talk a lot about the audio interface options inside Riverside. You can click the link above to watch that video. One final consideration is that the Blackmagic ATEM switchers actually have a picture-in-picture -picture option. This can be really powerful, especially if you're trying to show off a product and you want your audience to see your face talking. Depending on your number of guests, when you enable picture-in-picture -picture on the switcher, it might be cut off inside the Riverside Studio. But keep in mind, Riverside is actually recording the full 16 by 9 aspect ratio of your local recording. So when you download your local video and audio tracks later in your studio, you'll actually see the entire aspect ratio, including your full picture-in-picture -picture window. Just keep in mind, you won't be able to see that picture-in-picture -picture fully in the Riverside Studio as you record. Using a video switcher like the Blackmagic A10 Mini lineup inside Riverside is a great way to create engaging content, use multi-camera setups, or if you have multiple people in the same room doing an interview, you can have multiple cameras capturing each participant. If you'd like more info on inviting audience members to tune in live to your Riverside recordings, check out the video above. You can click that and learn about audience mode inside of Riverside. Also, drop a comment below this video. Tell us what you make with Riverside or what other questions you would like about live recording, recording remotely, podcasting, anything you'd like. We'd love to hear from you and answer you in the comments and maybe in a future video. So subscribe, hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video, and we'll catch you in the next one.